took me 50, 11 years to get the game to start. And then, you know, I, I really don't like the way um, EA has changed uh, how you open up their games on Origin versus their EA Play or whatever. It's almost like I had to do up, up, down, down. What is it? Um, up, up, down, down. Left, right. Left, left. Left, right, left, get on up. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what was it? Up, up, down, down. Left, right. Left, right. Be a start. Yeah, I still got it. I still got it. Okay, I'm sorry. All, all seriousness. No, all silliness aside. No, no, no. We're not going to put silliness aside. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Dragon Age. It's been a couple weeks. I realize this. I realize this. All right. So, um, we are in Crestwood. And you didn't get the intro to the um, what's going on here. But Crestwood is being plagued by this uh, storm. And it's kind of like that one area called Storm Coast, but not. Um, this isn't, there isn't supposed to be this perpetual rain. Um, so... Also, there are some uh, some goings on with the um, the people coming out of the grave. So, before we get started, I want to get into the oh, what is it? It's the skill set for my peoples. So, uh, yeah, everything was reset, and um, hmm. So I kind of wanted to get the right setting for all of these guys. I'm going to give her, Sarah, some of these. I should have did this before I started the game, but my bad. Um, do I want to give her unquenchable? Let's give her that. Unquenchable. Let's give her this. Oh, right. The storm. Let's give her this. Okay. And then, oh, goodness, that sounds loud. Um, I want to give her this and this. Maybe. Hmm. Poison weapons. Let's see. I'll give her infected wounds. And then let's give her first blood. Explosive shot, pin cushion, maybe shockwave. Um, okay. And I feel like I want to come back over here. Evasion. Stealth, maybe easy to miss. And evasion. Um, let's see, let's do, no, okay, don't have enough points, okay, so we're starting off real, real interesting, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, all right, these are their special abilities, I should have explained this, so I had reset all their abilities earlier, um, and I wanted to make sure I got these, uh, let's see, and no further, uh, let's just take that one, I don't particular, let's do unyielding, and then I kind of want to go over here, give him a taunt. Um, call the arms or battle roar. Um, proving your armor for the... Okay, I feel like I want to give him both of these. But I'm going to go over here to untouchable defense for max guard. Um, prove guard... Um, hmm. Let's do this one. And then I want to go over to maybe here. Maybe. Shield wall. Payback strike. I don't know. Let's, let's check this out. It'll cost you. Cutting. Okay, let's do that. Go back over here to his main stuff. Adamant, unyielding. I think we already gave them hit this to death or 
walking for I think I'll do to death I don't particularly care for walking fortress definitely want to give him his counter strike on guard or who's next um I feel like I want him to just be a tank and let's go over here all right let's give him just to get over here I want warriors resolve or wait turning bolt let's no I want to give him that then I want to give him shield bash because I like that all right and then next to Vivian I'm so sorry y'all this is how we're starting out but this is going to be a longer episode so I mean I'm, I'm giving <laughs> you more content here uh combat clarity yes fade cloak she is a melee mage um I, let's see what is this called this well um uh, yeah uh so defending blade spare blade generates charge more quickly but you expand on okay let's do this one um veil okay so mm, okay let's give her shield um do I wanna I think I wanna give her this. Peaceful no, aura. Yeah, I don't want her to get attacked while she's in melee. Also, I wanna give her a dispel. Um Okay, yeah, let's give her that. And then I kinda wanna give her this additional res. And then I want to go over here and give her, maybe I'll give her Emulate, Wildfire, and then let's see, let's give her, I feel like Ice and Fire would be, give her this, Mana Surge, um, Winter's Chill. Massive damage. Let's give. Let's do this like an AOE. And then let's go back to fire. See what we got. Um. Critical hit. How about let's go back over here to her main recloaking. Let's give her. Hmm. Let's grab fade shield. Okay. Now, who else do we have? Okay, that's it. Everybody else is taken care of. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. except for me. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab in my special here, Focus Teamwork. And I think I will upgrade on the... Oh, you know what? Let's give myself Dispel, because I don't have Dispel. Oh, do I? I don't have to spell. I did have to spell. I just didn't have it on my bar. Okay, so something's got to go. This will go. All right, this this is going to go. Dang it. Um, okay. All right. Go back. Go back. And get rid of this. And pick up the spell. Can I not? Oops. Can I not? Can I can I get the spell? Okay, there we go. I don't know why that wasn't working. Okay, throw them in there. Alright. We good. Let me turn this down a little bit because I feel like this is really loud in my ear for some reason. Um Master Volume. Yeah, Master Volume is really loud. Um music. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's do this. There okay. Must be a way to get to the rift in the lake. Does that rift mean water is pouring into the fade right now? So we got to get there somehow, some way, somehow. Ooh, spindlebeam. All right. So the task here, what we're trying to do here, is get to the um this spot here. No, 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 no. Where is the main quest? Um. Right here. This is the main quest. Here lies the abyss. So Varric's 
friend named Hawk, which you guys met um, a while back, has a friend in the Grey Wardens that we're supposed to find. And so we're going to go, Stroud is the name. So we're going to head over that way and uh, try to fight our way through whatever is going on here. Oh, this is what's going on here. Oh, gosh. I'm rusty. <laughs> Already. Yeah, it's there's rustiness going on <laughs> with the controls. I didn't even shield anybody. It's a little too late. I'm going to escape when I should be. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's not forget the loot. Okay. So, how are you guys doing? What's going on here? Grey Wardens. The Grey Wardens, thank you for your aid, Inquisitor. Okay. And, uh, let me adjust my mic here. Uh, why are you here? What are you doing in Crescent? Yeah, where have you been? The name Stroud is wanted for questioning. We heard he passed through here, but the villagers knew nothing. They have troubles enough. Okay, what do you know about him? What have you been told about this rogue warden? Warden Commander Clarell ordered his capture. I can say no more than that. Mm -hmm. I hope Sir Stroud comes with us peacefully. I trained under him for a time. He's a good man, I'm sure of that. Uh, can you stay and help? Will you stay to fight the undead here? My orders forbid it. Crestwood was only a detour. Is that all the aid we can offer these people? If the Inquisition can help, I beg you to do what you can. The villagers have already lost too many. Okay. Farewell. Farewell. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of lore behind. Oh, what's this? Take. What am I taking? Am I taking from. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of um, background on the wardens. Or wardens mentioned a new leader. I don't think they're part of Corypheus's plot to seize the order. Best not to mention it until we have more information ourselves. I hope Hawk's warden friend has answers for us. Okay, so quick lore session with the, the Grey Warden. So they are a, um, a faction of soldiers who have basically taken an oath to uh, fight the Darkspawn for the rest of their lives. And how they do that is they take, they ingest Darkspawn blood and it is a whole ritual and you have to go through this whole um, ritual, well, you have to go through this whole thing by killing dark, dark spawn, collecting the blood, then you have to ingest it, and not everyone will make it through uh, the ritual. Some uh, Grey Warden recruits actually end up dying, um, but the ones that do survive end up being Grey Wardens, and um, because they have ingested dark spawn blood, they're able to kind of track dark spawn, um, but it also shortens their life also makes them infertile so they can't have children or anything anything like that but once you're part of a gray warden faction you're kind of discouraged or you are discouraged from even getting married or anything getting involved with anyone because of the shortened lifespan and and such and things so um yeah but the uh, i don't know if you remember from previous episodes since it's been a while the Grey Wardens have gone missing. Uh, this is the first time we've seen any Grey Wardens besides Stroud. Um, and we have been kind of tra trying to track them. And uh, I know on the Storm Coast we did a number of, um, we did a number of quests where we're, we were actually looking for a Grey Warden. And it led us here. And um, it did give like some like lore of like, or like letters were left behind kind of telling what was going on with this one particular warden and what they were doing. So they're actually on a mission to find Stroud. So our uh, mission, should we choose to accept it, which we have, um, is to find Stroud before they do. And then yeah, enlist Stroud's help. Okay, so that was the TLDR um, on that, the short and dirty as they call it, I guess. Oh, let's talk to Jana. I'm going to see if they're looking for recruits. Okay, she must have been over there because I really don't see them. Uh, don't join the Wardens. Yeah, no. Joining the Grey Wardens is not a good idea. Oh, thank you. You're the Inquisitor. Um, but yes, 
The wardens are heroes. They saved me from those demons. Stroud didn't like that. With all er. this happening, I'd like to help people the same way. Blackwell didn't you like that. Want that. I mean, they're heroes, but fighting that stuff all the time. Grey Warden or no, the world needs more people with your courage. I don't. Oh, she's an elf like me, so I can. So if I were. I don't know how the situation would have played out if I weren't an elf. But because I'm an elf, I can tell her I have a special response to her. Find another way to help people. The wardens have problems of their own right now. Maybe? Yes, your worship. I'm sure there's something else oh, so, I can do to help. So she becomes an agent. Okay. So Blackwell didn't like that. He, of course, would be all about the Grey Wardens. I'm trying to persuade her not to become a Grey Warden because we don't know what's going on with them. They're uh, disappearing. And so <laughs> we're kind of like, yeah, no. Now's not the time. Maybe later. We could use your help elsewhere, right? So um, that was the option there. Yeah. So this um, is abandoned, this village. Um, getting used to the controls again. Left, right, left, right. All right. Yeah, this is this this is completely abandoned. But I'm gonna take your loot. I'm going to take your loot. I feel like I need to turn the volume up just a tad. I feel like it might be a little too low. I think that's what I did. It's a little, a little too low. Maybe it's the dialogue. That's no, the dialogue's fine. All right, sound effects. But we're gonna bring up the master volume. How about that? Like right there. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's better. That feels a little bit better. Felt a little low on my side. It could be just Undead let me turn. By the gates. Oh, okay. When you are. Let's get him. No man will die on my watch. At least I hope not. Are these dwarves? No, he's a short. Uh, he's not short. He's spinning down. Oh, gosh. I didn't see him. Okay. You good? You guys good? You're okay? Uh, probably not. How many did we lose? No one this time. Did you see? The corpses are coming from where old Crestwood used to be. The amount of people we lost back during the blight. I'm not surprised. Okay. So, um, old Crestwood is down here. So they're all coming from here. Well, I mean, you guys got burning bodies here. Is, is that what you're doing with these corpses? It's burning them. Um, all right. So everybody is here in this portion of the village. I assume... This is new Crestwood. Let's take that. Whoop. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I almost got fried. Oh, what's up here? Wow. I tell you, I saw him. The necklace his mother gave him is still around his neck. It's my son. My boy. What's it's that? a demon in his body. His son's been dead for ten years, Liam. What is he talking about? Okay, that's definitely new to me. I don't... So his son... Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, I guess maybe we'll find out what's going with that. I don't... Is it E? Uh, it's... Okay, it's left mouth. Oh, I'm right the mouth. The undead come in packs. Trust me. I know. Okay. How do you know this? Are you the undead coming packs? Okay. Trust me. I know. Okay. We'll we'll uh we'll trust you on that. Next house. See who else is uh talking. Board up the windows, bring the animals into the barn. What else? Uh leave? I would leave. That's what I would do. Um yeah. I would just go. You got dead things rising. It's time to it's time time to get the heck out of Dodge. Yeah. That's what... Is he going to talk to us? Your worship. Yeah? What's going on here? Ever since that green light appeared, undead keep rising from the lake. The mayor can tell you more. I hope Andraste sent you your worship. We've been trapped here for weeks. Okay. Uh, where's the mayor's house? Let's go this way. Oh. 
Who is this? Why doesn't Judith live in the village while this is going on? Make her if something happens. Uh, who's Judith? Are you looking for someone named Judith? Oh, was I speaking out loud? I mean, I walked Judith in your house. The village. I asked her to hide here when the undead came, but she wouldn't hear it. Mm, why not? Because I'm nosy. Why wouldn't she hide where it's safer? Likes her space, she says. I told Judith my house was big enough. Me and the boy could sleep in the barn if she wanted room. She turned me down. Okay. Good day to you. And to you. Uh, I mean, I could see why Judith might not want to live here. It's close quarters. This bed is quite small. It's kind of damp in here. I mean, her her spot may be a little bit cozier. Please. Oh. Okay, where is the mayor? Is this him? Is this the mayor? Are you the mayor? We used to get merchants aplenty. I can count on one hand the number we've gotten since the trouble started. This is not the mayor. Are you the mayor? Nobody's the mayor in here. Okay, next house. Are you the mayor? Harvest would be poor. It's not safe to work the fields. What does it matter? There's no one to sell to. No merchant comes through here anymore. And with the mule dead, I can't take the cart to market. This is depressing. Dead. What happened? What do you think? Those things broke into our barn and ripped poor Marigold apart. Yikes. We heard her scream. <gasps> but there was nothing we could do from inside the house. Oh, wow. Okay, what's this? Grumpled letter. A letter written by a quick hand. From everything you've told me, you must get out of Crestwood as soon as you can. I know it's dangerous, but I fear you'll have no chance at all if you don't attempt the trip. My father said that taking dead man's pass will guide you safely past those filthy highwaymen. If you come at dusk, you should be able to avoid the wolves too. Hurry, my love. Sin. Good day. As good as it gets these days anyway. Assisting these people will improve the Inquisition's reputation, my dear. Just don't let them touch you with their grubby hands. She is so stuck up. All right. Um, I assume this question mark is the mayor. So we'll go over here. It is not. Find your own shelter. Okay. I. Okay. Fast travel. So this must be up here. The mayor's up here, right? This looks like where the mayor would live. The mayor's house. Bingo. Um, there you are. Are you the mayor? You're the mayor. Mayor. The Inquisitor. Oh, mayor Dedrick of Crestwood Village. At your service, despite everything. Are you here to stop the undead? I'm here we to are. do whatever you guys needed. I'm not just gonna leave them. Uh, can I get to that fade rift? The undead are appearing because of a rift in the fade. How can I get to it? The light in the lake? It's coming from the caves below Old Crestwood. Dark spawn flooded it ten years ago during the blight. Wiped out the village, killing the refugees we took in. Okay. I saw a dam. If we use it to drain the lake, I can get to that fade rift. Drain the... There must be some other way. Your people are frightened, and they're tired. Let us help. You'd have to evict the bandits in the old fort to use the dam. I can't ask you to risk your life. Um... Please let me help. Crestwood can't last much longer. I don't want to leave without doing what I can. I... Uh, I suppose it must come to this. This key unlocks the gate to the dam controls past the fort. The rift must be in the caves under old Crestwood. But, Inquisitor, I would not linger there. Um... Who are those bandits? What can you tell me about the bandits camped in the fort? The highwaymen. Thugs and thieves. They make a living raiding caravans on the King's Road. When the dead rose from the lake, the bandits killed the old gamekeeper in the fort and took it for themselves. 
We could have saved people if we'd been able to hide there instead of in our homes. Okay. Um. What's the history behind Crestwood? Tell me about your village. It's seen happier days. We farm what we can, trade with the merchants who travel the King's Road. We only want peace, your worship. It's all we've ever wanted. This place survived a blight? I'm surprised a town as small as Crestwood outlasted the blight. It was a close thing. The Darkspawn followed a band of refugees running from the blight. Some of the refugees were... They were very ill. But we took them in. They perished when the Darkspawn flooded Old Crestwood. How did that happen? Uh, how did Darkspawn manage that? They found the dam's controls, wrecked them. All I remember is the refugees and villagers screaming as they drowned. And now, they return to us. Okay, I should go. Until later. Of course. Okay, so, um... Doing this makes me kind of want to play the first Dragon Age, but anyways, uh, the Enderfells. The Enderfells are a land of shocking extremes. It is the most desolate place in all the world. For two blights have left great expanses of the steppes so completely devoid of life that corpses cannot even decay there. No insect or grub will ever reach them. It is a land filled with wonders like Meridane, with this gigantic white statue of Our Lady carved into its face. Her hands outstretched and bearing an, et an eternal flame, or wise hot fortress with its walls of living rock towering over the desolate plains below. The Anders, too, are a people of extremes, the most devout priests and the most deadly soldiers, the poorest nation in the world, and the most feared. From In the Pursuit of Knowledge, Travels of a Chantry Scholar by Brother Genetivi. Brother Jenny TV is uh, in Dragon Age Origins, I believe. I believe. All right. So we've got Conundrum. Jaina. Okay. Okay, cool. What's this? No problem. Okay, this board has several papers and scraps of paper pinned to it. No one is to approach the dragon again. I have sent messages to the capital. We must wait for them to arrive. Meanwhile, we will dredge the lake for any sign of Henry at first light. Mayor Dedrick Henry. One of my lambs went missing. Stripe on the front hoof. Stripe on front right hoof. Disappeared yesterday evening in Upper Meadow, Irvine. If anyone spots Eddie, send for me. Don't let her sweet talk you into anything else. She knows what she did, Penelope. Need rake? I will lend you one for five coppers. Come see me. I also have wagon. It's very good. But it needs repair. You can have it. Just come take it away from my home. Bring wills. Why? Someone has also carved Milton and Lonnie into the backboard. Okay, so these are like um, little like one ads. Okay. I honestly have never seen that. Never like even read it. So... Yeah, all right. What uh, merchant are you? We haven't seen one in months. Who's talking? Oh, her. I was like, who is talking? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not a merchant. Unfortunately, I could use one myself because I'm sure my bags are full. Um, I think we got every house make sure we did yeah I'm pretty sure we talked to everybody here so let's head out of the village um see what else we can get into that's Lake Jane you, yep okay so we'll go this way I be with you, okay Thanks. yep <laughs> oh so there's another part to the village. Oh, a thing. Uh, what is this? Sister Vaughn. You honor us, Inquisitor. I am Sister Vaughn. Does the mayor finally plan to drain the lake? I must find someone to retrieve the remains of those lost there. Um. Is this a funeral? 
have I interrupted a funeral service? We lost many friends in the first attack. <laughs> there will be endless time to mourn. The fear is how many more will be added to the pyre. Mm. You want bodies from the lake? You want to exhume the corpses at the bottom of the lake? They were the Maker's children. Their earthly bodies deserve better than abandonment in a mire. A funeral service will help put living minds at ease. Okay, why drain the lake? What do you mean by finally drain the lake? The undead returned only after the light in the lake appeared. If we want to stop them, we must investigate. But the mayor sent no one at all. I fear he thinks that emptying the waters would unleash even more monsters on us. Okay. Until later. Farewell. I mean, it's possible. Maybe the lake is what's keeping them, the majority of them at bay. Maybe. Uh, logging soon. Yes. Okay. So we need to exhume bodies. I don't want to go this way. I want to go. This is the way towards the. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Clean this. Okay. Okay, so I want to go this way, and I think. No. Uh, hold on. Okay, so this is the way I want to go. This is the wrong way. Okay. So I got to backtrack because I can't go over there. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry. My bad. I think this is right. Yes. No. This is not right. Uh... <laughs> just gonna make it I don't know which way I'm going how do I get so turned around okay this oh okay yeah 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 okay yeah this is right oh so I could have just jumped down here and came out this way did I miss this house maybe Oh, that's the one that's locked. Okay. I think he was probably the smartest one in the village. I feel like he might be. I feel like he might be. Although, I just feel like everybody should just leave. Easier said than done. These, prob these people have probably built their lives in Crestwood. So, is this the way I want to go? Yes, maybe. It's a cave here. Check this cave out. Hidden cave. A wooden fa uh, facade has been erected at the mouth of this cave, presumably, presumably to shield any occupants from the weather. So there's people in there. Let's read. Tattered journal. The bandits are just across the way, so I can keep an eye on those uh, bastards. I've managed to take back some of the supplies that they stole from that traveling merchant. They didn't even see it coming, but I'm not afraid. If they want to fight, they can come and get me. Okay. Are you dead? Ooh. I'm just gonna, I'm just taking your deep mushroom. Oh, just these, okay. Oh, it's, oh okay, so, it's somebody in here. They're still alive, whoever it is. Oh, it's a couple people. Hello. You just move along. We don't need any trouble. Uh, okay, I'm just, before I leave though. Um, do you mind? So take this. Oh, and this obsidian. I don't want to leave without that. Uh, and I'll, I'm, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> How rude is that? They're in here, holed up in a cave, and I just walk in and start looting their stuff. Like, how rude is that? 
I mean, I no, I don't. I was gonna say I need it more than they do, but at this point, I really don't. I'm living in a castle. Yes, in a castle, and they're in a cave. Um. Am I going the right way? Oh, jeez. Listen. Okay, there's the castle. I don't want to take that quite yet. I want to go find Stroud first. And then, how far away is Stroud? Oh, he's a good ways. He is definitely a good ways. But that's where we're headed. I'll come back for the... Um, is that Lyrium? Yeah, there's lyrium everywhere here. Interesting. Um. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Huh. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way yet. Seriously, I'm gonna get struck by this lightning. If I even can. I almost did, so maybe... Maybe lightning can strike, and what if I do get struck by lightning? Probably will get crit hit. Okay, there's a rift here. Is there somebody living here? I don't quite want to... Oh, what is this? Oh! Bandits. Got him. Anything else? What's up here? Decent place to camp. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Got potions. What, what is all this? Requisitions. This is a nice little spot. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can continue on. I think Shroud is around the corner. So, I'm just gonna skip all this. I'll come back. I'll come back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, but I want to get to him first to kind of continue the main story. And then uh, begin the, the storyline for this area. I think... What is that? Let's go down here and claim it. Ooh. That is creepy. The pit in the pond. Three trout pond hides a sinkhole hundreds of yards deep. Dark spawn emerged from this and other caves to attack Crestwood during the blight. The flood that wiped out old Crestwood drowned the blighted ones and the excess water created the pond we see today. If the dam was not damaged, we would have never survived the dark spawn. Was the Maker's hand in this? I cannot believe he would be so purposefully cruel to his children, flawed though we are. From the memoirs of Sister Vaughn of Crestwood. Interesting, the, the choice of words. Being flawed. Okay. Ah, uh, we got wolves. I think it's just one wolf? Two wolf? Two? Can I say, you know, we don't uh, usually have one wolf hunting. Oh, okay. I thought there was another wolf. <laughs> it was like that's a big wolf. Okay. Uh, good night. Is this our spot? I think this is that our the spot. Cave where Hulk's warden friend is squatting? Yeah, I think so. Let's go in. Let's check it out. There's Hawk. You've been waiting for this for us this I long. Made it. <laughs> I just got here myself. Oh, okay. My contact with the wardens should be at the back of the cave. Okay. I saw other wardens. A group of wardens were protecting a villager from corpses out near Crestwood. They were likely hunting my friend. I'm glad they didn't come looking for people to help in here. They might well be good men, but they've been given bad orders. Okay. Um. Let 
I'm just, just don't mind me. Lots of bandits in these parts. Can't blame them, I suppose. You know, it's hard making a living these days. Blackwood, could you talk any louder? Could you? Please. Oh, I didn't examine. See now? Black wall. Oh. 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 It's just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Toud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. I like his accent. Um, I could use another ally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, my name is uh, Aries. I could use another ally. Um, I want information. Help me add all this up. Uh, yeah. Help me add all this up. Most of you wardens disappear. Then I run into a darkspawn magister named Corypheus. Do you think that one might have something to do with the other? I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. I recall that being a bad thing. But I don't recall you telling me about all this. It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Um, what is the calling? Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a Warden that the Blight will soon claim him. Starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The Warden says his farewells and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the Wardens fall, who will stand against the next Blight? It is our greatest fear. And then they do something desperate. Which is, of course, what Corypheus wants. Okay. Alright, um... Can Corypheus really do that? Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. Hmm. Um... Are you affected? You said all the wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. Um, how is this possible? How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him, save that he is dangerous. He is a magister, as well as a darkspawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. Hmm. The wardens are desperate, scared, or foolish. It sounds like they're a little bit of all three. Desperate because they're hearing this calling, thinking that this is the end for them all. So they're going to do whatever they can with the time that they can scared because well this is their end right and foolish because they're letting fear um determine their their choices 
So emotions definitely can make us do foolish things. Um, I'm going to say that they're s desperate. So the Wardens are making some last desperate attack on the Darkspawn. We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinter ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's examine this real quick. Regarding the calling, so many refuse to speak of it, but how can we know it? How can we identify it if we do not share it? The calling is not a source of shame. The song that whispers in the back of my mind is no evil upon my soul, but the mark of a life well lived in service of a greater good. If all things come from the Maker, then is this too not part of his plan? Could it not be a gift, a final haunting melody, to send us into the afterlife with hearts opened? Could this not be his song? It scratches at my thoughts, the music almost a voice. At once unearthly and beautiful, I found myself humming it aloud a few days past. Where once it intruded, it now feels a natural part of my mind's course. It coils around memories I hold dear. Training with Sir Keller, riding in the moonlight, my mother's face the last time I saw her, and inserts itself into them, so that I could almost swear that music, that sense of presence watching and calling, had always been a part of what I remember. This is what the senior wardens warned us of, I imagine. I should not find it beautiful. I must remember the corruption and recognize that my mind is slowly losing the wit to differentiate between this world and that which would consume and destroy it. I must. I can. I will tell the wardens tomorrow. I have seen their looks. They already know, I suspect. I will heed the calling and go to the deep roads to die with the dwarves fighting as a Grey Warden should. But if I am to die, after all I have given, can I not at least allow myself the pleasure of the song's beauty? The final pages of To My Fellow Wardens by Sir Marjorie Barron. So, as I said before, the plight of the um, wardens is to live and die killing, fighting Darkspawn. So, um, at the, towards the end of their life, as the, um, the calling takes over, basically after the, the dark spawn blood um, has destroyed their body and they hear the song of the dark spawn, it's something that the dark spawn also hear. Uh, it is, they know then it's time for them to head to the deep roads. The deep roads is where the dwarves live, where they live in underground. And that's where Darkspawn live, and there's a faction of d um, dwarves that have also taken an oath to fight Darkspawn for the rest of their lives. Um, I can't remember the name, something like something of the dead or something like that, but the wardens then go down to fight with them until death. And that's how they end their lives. It's kind of sad when you think about it. Um, but it's noble. Uh, okay, what we got Many here? Well, see the Inquisition as the only hope against the breach. Yep. Okay. Uh, get him. See what you got. Anything good? Ooh, finally some blues. All right, loot you guys up. See what you got. Uh, okay. Get this obsidian. 
Now, Stroud wants us to meet him in the Western something or other. Um, we won't go there. We're going to go ahead and finish this up here because I feel like it's necessary. We don't want to skip around too, too much. Oh, you poor sod. Okay. Uh, you don't need this, though. You don't need this anymore. All right, let's clear this rift. Let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. They're immune to fire, or no, they're more susceptible to fire. I think they are. And now that I have the spell, I think I can, I did it too early. Oh no. This guy. Oh gosh. Oh, sweet, he went down fast. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Okay, rift's closed. So now that we've talk talked to Stroud, I think we should go ahead and get to um, the fortress, I guess, where the, I think where the, the dam is. Is that it? Right over here? Let me see. Mm, pit to the pond. Mm. Is this it? Still waters. Oh, well, what is this over here? All right. Um. Okay, well, okay. I thought that's where we were at, but apparently not. Well, okay, let's, since we're over here, let's go check on Judith, see how she's doing, if she's even still alive. Um, the way things are going, probably not. Oh, see, her house is right here. Yeah, she is out here all by herself, and there's a dead person hanging not too far from her. She is nuts. Oh, there's a thing here. Uh, okay. Judith. Oh, she's alive. It's a bad time to come knocking. Between the corpses and the wyvern, nothing here is safe. What I wouldn't give to get my hands on that animal. Uh. How did we know she was talking about a wyvern? Oh, well, let's ask her. There's a wyvern causing trouble. It used to hunt in the mountains. Didn't bother anyone but the bandits. <laughs> Lately, the beast got it in his head to come down here. It almost crippled Gold's little boy. Best someone kill it. I hope I get my hands on the liver. It makes a poison that kills rats like nothing. Okay, you're worried about a wyvern when you've got undead walking around outside? Um, I was told to check on you. If you're Judith, there's a man in the village concerned about you. <laughs> that must be Gold, fretful as ever. I'm glad he stayed in Crestwood. He's fast as you please with a loom, but terrible with a sword. Okay, what do you do here? Do you farm out there? The name's Judith. I farm and I mend things for the village and people passing through. I did a fair trade with traveling merchants before the undead started attacking. And those bandits. Not to mention that dragon. You live here on purpose. Right. Well, you know, the fishing's grand. Okay, tell me about the dragon. What do you know about the dragon? She moved in a month ago. The guards tried to run her off, but she snapped one's head off and she flew away. Poor Hamald. At least it was quick. Since then, she's eaten three horses, five goats, and two cats. Mm, she's got appetite. Okay. Until later. Be safe. So the wyvern is different from the dragon? Am I supposed to kill the wyvern? Wormhole. 
Yes. Okay, so there is a wyvern that I must kill. This is where I need to be, right? Oh, that's Crestwood. Where is the... Right here. That's that's where I need to be. Okay, so let's let's do this. Please let this not be some... Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. I say that now, but... Alright, let's... Let's start here... Um, I already messed up. See? I said this was easy, but it's not. Um, okay, let's start here then. This feels awkward as all get out. All right. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Right? Okay. Okay. Threw me off a little bit. Okay. So... What's down here? That's a, that's a rift. Um, this is where I want to be. So I went ahead this way. What do you got over here, girl? Black wolf? They got wolves outside, too. She's crazy. Judith. Judith is insane. That's, that's what I've determined. She may think she's smart, but she is living out here by... Oh, she's got stuff on her roof. <laughs> Judith, you don't mind, do you? I mean, if I'm going to go kill a wyvern for you, um, I'm going to loot whatever you have on your roof. Thank you very much. Okay, and then I'm going to go this way. Towards my goal. What is going... Oh, we got... You got highwaymen? Who are these guys? Oh, they're the bandits. Oh, that was a rogue. Okay. Actually, I need... What is it with Ferelden and the undead? Didn't Redcliffe have the same problem? Yes, Redcliffe did have the same problem. And not to, uh... What is going on over here? It looks desolate. Not to give any spoilers, but yes. Red Gee. Come on. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shoot. Oh. oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That was the wrong move. That was the wrong move. That was the wrong move. Oh, goodness. Oh shoot, the rogue. Okay. That was the one thing I did not want to hit was that Druffalo. Okay. Actually, I do need to farm some Druffalo leather because I need stuff for crafting. And then, what the? Okay. Freaking wolf. Stay away from the Druffalo, please. Just kill the wolf. I don't even want to get close to it. Who ki Oh. No, no. Don't attack. Oh, Sarah. Why would you do that? 
Why? Oh. Shield up. Sarah. Sarah. Okay. I'm looking at you, Sarah. I'm looking at you. I specifically said do not touch the Druffalo. What does she do? She attacks the Druffalo. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... How long have I been recording? It's been an hour? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and... I think... I think we have time to... I think we have time. We've got time. We've got time. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Are you going anywhere? No. I think this is it. Yeah, this looks like it's it. What is that noise? Is that the wyvern, maybe? Oh, well. Is this how we get in? There's the keep the mayor talked about. And the bandits. Archers on the ramparts. Good defenses. They'll be hard to pry out. Mm. Okay. Keep an eye out, guys. The gallows of Ker Bronach, Bron the gallows by the fortress are left over from when Orle warred with Ferelden. Let us be grateful they have not seen use in years, apart from children using the ropes as swings before the gamekeeper chases them off. From the memoirs of Sister Vaughn of Crestwood. Okay. Uh, how are we getting into this place? Okay, front door. We're just gonna walk in. That's what we're gonna do. And it looks like I'm gonna have to destroy the door. First of all, let me uh, shield everybody. Oh, we got dogs. Oh gosh. Get the archer, get the archer. Got him. Shield up. All right, the shoulder. All right. Another archer. Oh. This is probably a bad idea. Push him out. Okay. I just wanted to take this before before we ended the the episode. I wanna get this done. Get some stuff done. It has been the most unexciting episode. Not much fighting. So, you know, a lot of storytelling, a lot of lore. But some people enjoy the lore over the the gameplay. So, try to mix it up a little bit. Uh, let me know if you want me to do more lore. Because I could. Um, I could go through the codexes. Codices? That's how you say it. Uh, and, oh, okay. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Uh, get the, get the, get the guardsmen. Get the guardsmen. Get the guardsmen. Alright. Okay, they're all going to... Good. Oh, shoot. I mean, that. Oh, no. I was going to say that's it. No. It's more coming. Sarah. Okay. Oh, gosh. I didn't know there was somebody behind you. I'm so sorry. Okay, I think we're good. Loot up. See if we got anything good. I think there's some stuff up here. Let me uh, check it out up here. Actually, I think this might be a shortcut up. So let's head back down this way. See what I can loot up on the steps. Okay, this place is pretty big. Um, go through this door, right? Yeah. Oh! I hear more. Anything up here? Oh, they... Did they unlock the door? They did! They're locking the doors. Oh, wow. I've never noticed them do that before. That's pretty smart. Um, so I guess lure us over, hey? Uh, grab this then. Fill up our potions. I mean, listen. I have my big uh, DPS. What is this? The Mark of the Rift? So, yeah, here we go. Boss fight. Oh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Kill that warrior. Oh! Should be this close. Kill that, get the archer first. Uh, shield up. Sarah, or, uh, what's your name? You know your name, Vivian. Don't be selfish with the Vivian. Vivian. Really, Vivian? No, I... Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, shoot. I'm looting now. Oh, there's a big dude. Okay, so. Guess what? <laughs> this is too easy. Maybe not. Shield up. Did you see that? He just destroyed the rock. I think I totally missed him. He's down. Easy. Yes, easy work. It would be. Inquisition could make good use of it. Yeah. Hey there, yeah. Let's get some merchants in your new house. Oh, check that out. Let's give that to, uh, Iron Bull. Okay, so this is going to be ours. We're going to take over this fortress. So I need to go up here, I think, right? Yeah. Let's 
to be a great little setup. Inquisition flag up. And cue music that we do not have on because copyright and all that. Okay. Okay, so Crestwood, uh, Care. Congratulations, Inquisitor. A splendid acquisition. Yeah, it was. Standards, of oh, of course, she's always. The mess and the dam controls were through the fort. Yeah, should probably do that. Um, of course, Vivian always has to get her little dig in. Um, okay, so we have merchants here. So I think I'm going to... Let me check my inventory. Okay, that's something I can do offline. Um, somebody had a... Welcome, Inquisitor. Oh, yes. My name is Charter. Okay, Charter. Okay, um, you mentioned a spy. Uh, oops. Another time. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, talk to me. Our patrols have spotted red templars up in the hills, Inquisitor. They're studying a set of elven ruins. Why, we're not sure. Okay, you mentioned a spy. When's the spy named Butcher supposed to arrive? Half hour ago, by the south gate. I hope he's only delayed. Butcher's last message swore he had secrets for us worth ten times his weight in gold. Okay, uh, what's useful about this area? Did Sister Nightingale tell you why she wanted agents here? We lie on the main road between Denerim and Balroyo. Couriers stop here all the time. For what they're paid, some have surprisingly loose tongues. Okay, anything to report? What's happening in Crestwood? The roads are nearly deserted. Too many undead keep rising from the lake. All right, farewell. I should be going. Another time. Thanks. Did you see this person bump a band across the background? I don't know if you did or not. Um, let's equip potions. I think we already did that, so we're good. So I think I'm going to change my party here. Um, I think we're going to pick up... I think we're going to keep Blackwall. I feel like Blackwall is good for this area because uh, Grey Wardens... You know, so he's a great warden. So we'll grab him. I think I'm going to grab Dorian. Um, because he's my dude. And then I'm going to pick up... Have I... Uh, you know, we need a rogue. Can't have three mages. We need a rogue. So that leaves Varric. Varric's a little bit stronger than Sarah. Yep. So... That's going to end this episode. I'm going to offline get these guys set up, Dorian and Varric. Um, and then we will continue next episode with uh, heading to the uh, the control room, I guess. And um, draining the, the dam and then going forward to the rift. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm sorry that it was... Uh, uh, late coming. Um, things kind of gotten a little bit tied up. No excuses, no excuses, no excuses. Um, but I'm glad that I was able to get an episode out and hopefully I'll be able to keep them rolling. And especially, um, hopefully this weekend, uh, there's, uh, I have a long weekend ahead of me. So, uh, hopefully I'll be able to record a little bit then. Anyways, all right, guys, I will uh, talk to you later. Hope to see you next time. Ciao.